Well, good morning from the Oklahoma's Video Studio, Dave Morris, alongside Mike Knopp, Executive Director of the Oklahoma City Boathouse Foundation. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. Well, every week at this time, we uh, get an update on things going on at uh, River Sport uh, down by the Boathouse area of the Oklahoma River. And this weekend, took my bike from downtown, biked down Robinson, went over the, uh, the area to get to the trails, rode along up to May Avenue, down to the Boathouse District. Wow. Didn't Two observations. First of all, the trails are really good for taking yeah. your bike out there. It's perfect for that. It was a windy weekend, and when you get downwind of the stockyards, <laughs> taking your life in your hands there, aroma wise. But back towards the boathouse area, yeah. it was a busy weekend there. It was a busy weekend. I mean, really, the first really nice weather weekend we've had since our opening with the Olympic trials and the festival. So, lots of people out um, experiencing the whitewater rapids and and all the other adventures in the Boathouse District. So it was, it was a great weekend. Speaking of weekends, you were out of town in Atlanta this weekend. What took you there? Well, I went to the Pan American uh, Championship for, it's for USA Canoe Kayak. It was, it's kind of a continental qualifier for the Rio Olympics. So we actually uh, had a, a young lady from Oklahoma City, a para-Olympian who will, who will make the two, will be in Rio, which was very exciting. Great. And then also, um, uh, just a, another athlete who's trained here a lot in here in Oklahoma City, Maggie Hogan, who uh, will be made the sprint team for for the Olympic Games, and it was really great to see Maggie. She has been training here in Oklahoma City for a while. She's now in California, but she is a, an athlete who's been at this for a long for a long time. I mean, um, doing a really great job, and we've been all pulling for her. So another uh, another couple of people to cheer for in Rio. And, you know, it was neat going back because I was realizing and they were really promoting the fact that, again, this is 2016 and 1996 was that was the Atlanta Olympics. And so um, they were really trying to kind of renew that Olympic spirit there at the Lake Lanier Olympic Park, which is where the rowing and canoe kayak events took place. And what do you it, remember about that? Well, it, it was my there. first time back because I, I Tempe and my, my wife and myself went out there. Um, in 1996 to, to watch the Olympics, to watch the rowing, and, and, and that was about the time we were just kind of starting here. We were out at Lake Overholzer and barely getting started, and so um, we were the only ones out there kind of trying to get the, get the momentum for rowing and uh, people on the water back then uh, going. And I tell you, I just remember the, uh, the Olympics there in Atlanta. That was kind of a moment for us where it really inspired us. I mean, we were really excited about it and came back and and went from there. <laughs> 20 years later, here you are. 20 years later and, and it was kind of also fun going back and and seeing that, you know, here 20 years later, I'm back here and and now we are an Olympic training site. I was representing USA Canoe Kayak as, a, as their, as a board member and, you know, just uh, a lot has changed in 20 years. Well, 20 years later, we're facing a Memorial Weekend, which is kind of a kickoff of sorts down at the Boathouse District, right? It is. Uh, for, for this weekend, we're going to have our first festival of the season, of the summer season, this Memorial Day Festival. We're going to kick it off on, on Saturday, and it goes from noon to 10 p.m. We have live music throughout the day in, in our, on our new stage at Rotary Point in Riversport Rapids. So it's free to come in, just hang out. Um, really great music, some, some great bands. Uh, throughout, throughout the day. It's all on our website. Uh, you can get the details of, of, the, of the bands. But we, we really do encourage people to come out. We're going to have food trucks, lots of great music. Of course, our Big Water Grill is, is open. And, um, and, uh, and then all the rafting and adventures. You can, you can have a lot of yard games and other things going on in addition to the, uh, to the other adventure activities. So throughout the summer, and by the way, you guys will now be open uh, seven days a week, I believe, uh, yes. for people to come out after this weekend. Yeah. But every other weekend, it's movies or music, right? Uh, that is correct. Every other weekend, I was working, at, getting my schedule here, but it, literally, it's hard to keep up because every weekend there's a there's a, a movie. We do movie nights um, both at our Finish Line Tower, the Chesapeake Finish Line Tower, where we do children's movies, family movies. Uh, that's been very popular. It's the FAA Credit Union's uh, uh, movie movie night. Cool. And then on uh, other weekends, we do live music in River Sport Rapids, um, and we also do movies on the water where you can float in a raft or in an inner, inner tube. So all that's on our website as well. But this whole this weekend kicks it all off. And again, I've said before, we're really trying to uh, 
make this this venue kind of like a, just a true gathering spot. People can just come, bring a blanket, hang out, you know, listen to some great music, watch some. It's a it's a really unique scene down there. Just hanging out, watching people rafting and kayaking, and then hopefully doing it, trying it yourself. So. And that rotary points right in the middle of. Right in the, the middle of all the rapids. action. And, you can sit on the big hill in between the two whitewater channels and listen to the music, or go down by the, the restaurant area, and it's just a it's a just a really special atmosphere. And uh, but we'll have a we'll have activities going on throughout the whole venue. You know, in the all the adventure area, we'll have additional games, as I mentioned, and food trucks, and uh, just something for everyone, really. I mentioned I went down there over the weekend. It's it's super simple mm -hmm. these days to get from Bricktown. Uh, through the tunnel, if you will, uh, from the canal into your area. Yes, um, we're really trying to emphasize that. You, you can spend the day in Bricktown or the or spend the day in the Boathouse District then walk into Bricktown and um, it's really trying to enhance and, and promote that connectivity because I think that's really, really important how we can make, we've tried to make it really easy to, to connect our attractions and our destinations here in Oklahoma City. He mentioned the website, it's super helpful, riversportokc.org, and it works well on your mobile devices, which is he these days. It's <laughs> awesome. Mike, as always, we appreciate the update. Thank you, Dave. All right. Uh, happy Memorial Day weekend. I don't know if people <laughs> say that or not, but in advance, happy Memorial Day weekend. It'll be a great weekend. Thank you.